Yo, what's up guys? Joey here, back at it again with another PC build. I hope you guys are doing well. So in this video, we're working with a budget around $3,000. This is the most powerful PC we've ever built here on the channel. So we went with an RTX 2080 Ti and an i9 9900K. It's an eight core processor with 16 threads with a max turbo of five gigahertz. So yeah guys, last week we built a PC with the RTX 2060. And we also did full PC build guides using the RTX 2070 and RTX 2080. And now we've arrived to the grand finale of the RTX series. The RTX 2080. Yeah. So yeah, guys, the theme of this PC is Gamer Mickey and Gamer Mini theme. The Funko Pops, really colorful Funko Pops we're working with here. So the whole build is going to just go overkill on the RGB. So we're going to be organizing this video into three parts. The first part is we're going to go over all the parts using this build and their prices. Second, we're going to build the PC. It's going to be a time-lapse build, not a full build guide. But you can use my previous RTX build guides as a reference to show you how to build this PC. Those are linked in the video description. All right, guys, so I'm really excited to build this PC. So let's just jump right into it. Starting off with the parts right in front of our faces. Let's just get the storage out of the way. We went with a two terabyte hard drive to store all our games and we went with two 500 gigabyte SSDs by WD Blue. So the reason we went with two 500 gigabyte SSDs guys is because in the front of the case they're going to be on display and I'm going to be wrapping them with carbon fiber vinyl wrap. I don't know what colors I'm going to use exactly but I have four colors to choose from. So for our RAM guys we went with 32 gigabytes of RAM. I've never experienced the system's performance using 32 gigs of RAM. The max I've ever used was 16 gig. This kit's rated at 3200 megahertz. We went with the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM. So the i9 comes packaged in a blue soccer ball. How do we open this thing? That's a good question. Um, Don't worry, I'll figure it out eventually. Okay, there it is. Slice and dice. How do you open this thing? Well, this is open like this. So taking a closer look at our Intel i9 processor, it looks exactly like any other processor by Intel, except this one's on roids. I can't wait to export videos in this. This i9 is just gonna be a big time saver. So to cool this CPU, we went with the Kraken X72 liquid cooler by NZXT. So guys, this radiator is huge. It's rocking three fans. So if you've been keeping up with the PC builds here on the channel, you'll know that it's been a while since we've worked with an AIO. All the previous builds have been rocking heat sinks, but for our i9, a heat sink just wouldn't do it justice. So this this AIO already has the thermal paste pre-applied. What a beauty. Oh, but man, does this thing feel high quality. All right, what else do we have in here? So it comes with three fans, AMD mounting kit. We don't need that. Our cables, and that's it. So this is the lighting controller that it comes with. It's really small and you could actually mount it on an SSD cage. So it is gonna be on display in the front of our case. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna wrap this thing. You know what, I think I am gonna vinyl wrap this thing. That looks pretty cool. So moving on to our motherboard guys. This is part of ASUS's ROG line. It's the Maximus 11 Hero with built-in Wi-Fi. Let's open this guy up. So we have ourselves a beautiful looking motherboard right here. Plenty of USB ports and a type C port. We have our Wi-Fi antenna, total of four SATA cables for our drives. So to power our build, we went with an 850 watt gold rated power supply by Corsair. This is fully modular, which means all the cables are disconnected from it. So we got ourselves a little baggie with all our cables and our power supply. I like the fan. I know we're not gonna be able to see it, but I'm just saying the fan looks cool in this power supply. So to add that extra pop to our build, guys, I also picked up custom sleeve cables, green and pink. So these custom cables are still gonna have to hook up to the original power supply cable. So for our Funko Pops of choice, we went with the newly released GameStop exclusive Gamer Mini and Gamer Mickey Funko Pops. I just totally admire this release. So we went with the Ninja Special Edition H700i. So yeah, you guys are probably wondering why I picked up two cases. Well, as you can see, the tempered glass side panel right here has the Ninja logo. Although this is a Ninja themed case, it's not exactly the theme we're going with. So I'm gonna be replacing it with a tempered glass side panel that doesn't have the ninja logo opening these cases is quite the workout so yeah see that's going to complement our theme much better so if you pick up the i version of the h700 it comes with included rgb led strips already pre-installed one strip right here and then up here another one so last guys but definitely not least we have our rtx 2080 ti this is the gaming x trio version by msi all right, let's open up this beast of a graphics card. The back plate of this guy is a definition of beauty and classy. The cooling system on the Gaming X Trio, it's really beefy. Taking a look at the ports of our 2080 Ti, we have three display ports, one HDMI port, and one Type-C port. But yeah, guys, as far as 2080 Ti's go, this is one of the best versions of the card you can pick up. Yeah, I'm down for the long run now. Yeah. Red Corvette and my drop top down. Calling up my digits in my Motorola and I'm speeding like I robbed someone. Falling and I'm a whip. Yeah, out in Fairfax, going hard in the pit. Yeah, yeah, I still ball in the pitch. Yeah, something wrong with the picture. Something is wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Why, why, why? Why you need to lie, lie, lie? Something is wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Why, why, why? How do you get by? 
bye, bye, bye. You've been away way longer than I'm used to. Yeah. You started hanging with a new crew. Talking to my friends like that's something that I'm used to. I never cash else, I just wanted him to lose you. And I was like, damn. Puffing on the bush at Uncle Sam's. Who'd have thought that he would understand? And I just never fall out, I just wanna win. I'm in it for the long run, I do this on my fam. Yeah, I'm down for the long run now. Red Corvette and my drop top down. Calling up my digits in my Motorola and I'm speeding like I robbed someone. Falling and I'm a whip, yeah. Out in Fairfax, going hard in the pit, yeah. Yeah, I still ball in the pitch, yeah. Something wrong with the picture. Something's wrong with the way, and I don't know why. Why, why, why? Why you need to lie, lie, lie? The sea is in a new light. Pretty much, I'm pretty pleased with how the colors ended up matching each other. I thought it was gonna be pretty crazy, and it is pretty crazy. We have a lot of colors going on here, but well, that's the theme, so it works. So as far as how we control the lighting side of our PC, for all the fans, we're using the cam program, and then for the two LED light strips, there's one up here, and then there's one on the side of the case right here. Those are controlled using the ASUS Aura program. These lights could be turned up, boom, so it's a lot brighter now, but it looks a little overexposed on my camera. Hot pinkish color, apply. That looks good, right? But yeah, guys, we're going to be moving on to the gameplay test now. As far as what games we're going to be playing, it's these games right here. Rainbow Six Siege, Overwatch, CSGO, Black Ops 4, Fortnite, and Apex Legends. All games were tested at 1440p resolution. Also, guys, be sure to turn on bell notifications if you haven't already, so you can be alerted for when I post future PC builds such as this one right here. I'm also going to have different formatted videos coming up in the future, of course, related within the PC gaming niche. All right, guys, so we're starting out the bench rush for Rainbow Six Siege. So we're currently playing the game at 1440p resolution. Resolution. Our goal is to achieve 144 FPS for 144 Hertz gaming. We are definitely above that at maxed out settings, by the way. The game is on the Ultra Settings preset. So Rainbow Six Siege's performance is just amazing. Here we go. Time to go for the flank. I'm gonna stick with Bouncy Tofu. He looks like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> I'll follow you, Thermite. The Lord. <laughs> oh, he just punched him with his shield. <laughs> Did Monte really just do that? Oh my, what a legend. No blitz. <laughs> oh my God. He's dead. Jeez, that was like 10 bullets to the face. Rushing, okay. Oh! Come on, you got this. That was pretty epic. That last round has my heart pumping. It's fun. <laughs> Whoa, we're playing Overwatch on the Ultra Settings preset. We got that justice rained on us, boys. That was the time, that was the time. <laughs> Go! You got this! Do it! No! <laughs> <laughs> what does Q do? Painting targets. Oh, that's awesome. See what I mean? Get him turned up. Nice. Alright guys, so we're gonna be playing Fortnite on these settings right here. Oh, I got him. Oh, we trade. 
upgraded. So here's the settings we're running Apex on, which is pretty much maxed out. I didn't know this map had creatures on it. That's cool. We have a pretty good view of the whole map from up here. Sliding into it. Okay, here's one. over here. Right is watch out, watch out. Oh! Yo, come here. I got you. Alright boys, go loud. I'll take anything. <laughs> Run away. Oh, perfect. Get up, get up teammate. Oh, oh, oh. Well, guys, thanks for watching till the end. I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs> Bright sneakers on.